Alrighty folks, well, this is the latest uh, pickup here on the, uh, for the International, I picked up some fenders, and uh, they require some work, somebody was going to do some modifications to them, and, uh, and then they got sidetracked, so I, I picked them up for a fair price, and they're off a of Chevy, that box I'm working on is from a Chevy. I think they're going to match or look pretty good on the body line of the uh, International. Anyway, um, they're in much better shape than the, uh, the the ones that are on the box of the bed. So, on the bed of the box, on the on the side of the box. How about that? So, um, anyway, I'm going to get these unloaded in the garage, and uh, we'll pick away at a few other little things tonight. I got the other side of the uh, support welded in on the box here now. So uh, I'll be able to put in my cross members and um, whatever bed material I plan on using. Uh, I can get that laid in there soon. So uh, it's slowly coming. But uh, these fenders are in really bad shape. It's just body fill. Um, just caked on there. Uh, you can see that they're separating from the body, and uh, they're not really well built. Um, there's the body fill I was referring to, and you can see here what they did is they made out of strips. Of material and then they just put massive amounts of um, bad body fill over it and this is why I'm getting rid of these ones and I'm going to put the other ones on um, yeah clearly I'm making the right decision here this uh, body fill was poorly done not prepped right and uh, you know, I'll say these these fenders were they were they are what they are and I was going to keep them but they're really rough so uh, hopefully these Chevy ones uh, the newer ones will, will look look all right on there um, Anyway, that's uh, that's where we are. So I uh, got the um, cross members tacked in place. They're just uh, they're just there for now. Uh, it's a good time to leave the project. Uh, I'm happy with where it is right now, and that makes me excited about coming back and getting uh, getting back at it. Uh, one problem though with these uh, fenders, I just found out. Is that these ones here are quite a bit um, narrower than uh, the fat girls that are uh, that are on that. So um, what I'm going to do looks like is um, I might uh, I might go in and take a uh, take a cut off this and then widen these out maybe another two inches. And that'll give my tires a little bit of space in their wheel well. As it looks like, I'm going to be about an inch shy um, from outside to outside of my tires. Uh, that 9-inch Ford rear end has... Uh, I want to keep the, the rims that are on it, so what I did is I bought uh, spacers. and um, Or, sorry, wheel adapters. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's causing some of the problem. Is, uh, that spaces the wheels out quite a ways in the back so the track width is uh, quite a bit wider uh, other than that I think these fenders are going to look pretty good on um, on the truck uh, I like the wheel arch and the way it flows with the, the lines of the, uh, the front cab and uh, I think it's going to I think it's going to look pretty good on the uh, on the box so 
better than those uh, body filled laden things that are, are sitting right there. Uh, I just don't really trust them and how long they would last on the, on the truck and what's really even holding them on. So if I'm going to take them off to uh, modify them, I might as well just take them off and modify those and uh, put them on. Anyway, for another night, um, thanks for joining me. And uh, please uh, don't be afraid to uh, comment and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, or what I should do. Especially when it comes to putting down a, a bed material, I'm thinking about expanded metal uh, like a mesh um, or a checker plate but the mesh is a lot cheaper so let me know what you guys think if you want to post a comment anyway uh, once again thanks for watching